How to use AI to find altcoin gems. Not only can this platform be used to identify crypto gems, but it can also be utilized to predict crashes like it did on June 14th. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. This episode of the Beam Pod is sponsored by KyberSwap. KyberSwap is a DEX and DEX aggregator, which is built to facilitate all your DeFi needs in one single platform. Fast, cheap, and safe. User experience is KyberSwap's sole focus to make everyone's life better in DeFi. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. And this is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today, we're going to teach you how to use AI to find trending altcoin gems. This platform utilizes AI technology to identify bullish trends, but it also uses the same technology to identify bearish trends. And there was a huge crypto crash that occurred on June 14th where many altcoins bled out 30, 40, 50%. Mm-hmm. And this project actually identified it 15 minutes before it actually happened. Yeah, I mean, 15 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're, you know, you're day trading, you're on, you're watching charts, that can be the difference between getting your portfolio absolutely rinsed or getting out of your positions, or at least some of your positions and saving a shit ton of money. So we can we can see already this platform works. So now we're going to tell you all about it, how to use it, and, and where it kind of came from, right? Yeah, so obviously... We've, we've discussed this platform a number of different times. Uh, we utilize this platform all the time to identify a lot of different trending projects and ones that could see a bit of narrative momentum. And it's a tool that we utilize a lot for identifying small cap gems that could potentially rip. Mm. And they've gone through a little bit of, I don't know if it's a rebranding, but a restructuring of the technology behind the scenes. So they've done some building to utilize AI to find to utilize on-chain data, but also off-chain data, they can you can find out uh, centralized inflows and outflows, yeah. so you can start to pick up on these these trends and see you know which projects are actually going to perform really well or potentially sell off. Yeah, exactly. So you know if you, if you've been a longtime listener of the show, follow us on social media. You know that we were a big proponent of using KyberSwap. So KyberSwap used to have this technology called, it was like a discover page. So you used to have trending soon and trending now tokens, which we used to like a lot. We'd use it to find sometimes tokens before they would explode. Use it to identify narratives. If you look at the trending now, you can see, oh, you know, play to earn games are pumping or metaverse games are pumping. But what they did is, you know, obviously with the advent of new AI technologies, they've now integrated machine learning and artificial intelligence into this discover platform and rebranded it as Kyber AI. So at the start of the show, when we talked about how to find altcoin gems, how to predict crypto crashes, now Kyber AI by KyberSwap is this brand new platform where they've basically taken a whole host of tools they already had, plus added a bunch of new features, which are kind of helpful for both new and experienced traders, and then integrated AI and machine learning into it to make it that much more useful. So we're going to go through all the new tools they've got on the platform today, how to use them, and basically why we think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool idea. So you're getting access to market data that's typically only utilized by institutional institutional players, high net worth individuals. Mm. And the crypto market can be freaking tough, man. So like, you know, the SEC is cracking down on um, coin, Coinbase and Binance. So there's all this, you know, our listeners, our viewers right now, you know, maybe they're driving to work and or they're teaching at school or they're a teacher all this stuff in the daily life, you don't have time like you and I do to yeah. sit there and be constantly analyzing what's happening. So there's so many daily challenges, you know, it, all these different like channels you have to search through with a platform like this, you can now you can use it as like your ally to make a more informed decision. It's not going to be perfect. Yep. It's never going to be like, Oh yeah, hundred percent buy this and you're, you're going to go up. It's just another tool to kind of add to your, your belt to make, better decisions. Yeah, and when you use the tools that Kyber AI has in combination with the regular tools that KyberSwap offers, like putting limit orders in for buying and selling, you know, then if, say, if, you know, the SEC does sue, it says, oh, SEC says this coin is a security. It goes down 30%, hits your buy order at the support zone, and then everyone realizes that the SEC is a bunch of bullshit and it's actually fun. You, you automatically buy it as you're driving to, to work, and then it bounces, right? So that's kind of, so for when you first when you go into Kyber AI, you'll see all the tokens and from the surface, it gives everything what's called a Kyber score. Yeah. So the Kyber score basically, it uses all of their tools and automatically analyzes each specific altcoin, coin or token and gives it a rating out of 100. It's like, 
90 out of 100, bullish. 30 out of 100, bearish. So that's like, you know, the easy way to glance at without going into all the individual tools, you can get a feel for if a token is in good shape or has a good outlook or it doesn't. So this is kind of an easy thing. And right, right when you go into Kyber AI, you're going to see that. You can see all the coins with their Kyber score. You can sort by bullish coins, bearish coins. And then when you click on it, you can get into some of the more kind of nitty gritty technical tools. Right. So what, what I realized is that it's actually taking historical data from over 2,400 different tokens. And it's using this machine learning. So the, the platform actually progressively gets better over time. So the better the score, or the higher the score, the higher the number, the, the higher the likelihood that it is a, a bullish or a bearish trend. Yep. Um, so yeah, then from once you get the score, then you can start to use the off-chain and on-chain data. Uh, basically, it does all the hard work for you by sorting and processing all the data points into like these really easily digestible visualizations. So you get a really beautiful chart. It can show you like the inflow and the outflows. So again, it's like you have your score, and then you get the visualizations of the charting to see, all right, now do I want to maybe set a limit order or a stop loss, you know, lower than where I'm buying it. So it's kind of like a DEX that actually brings everything together in, into one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So some of the features that I found I do find really useful when using it is, first of all, when you click on a coin, it shows you their chart and you can automatically put in, it'll tell you the support and resistance levels. So, you know, for, for newer traders that aren't able to identify what we, you know, because we're, you know, we're in it every day, we can easily identify support and resistance. But for newer traders who maybe that's not so easy, you can just click a switch. It shows you support and resistance for every altcoin. That's pretty cool. Another thing which I found handy was the on-chain analytics. So it shows you the net inflow and outflow to whale wallets. And, you know, in general, if whales are buying a coin, maybe they know something we don't. Or maybe there's something going on behind the scenes that the public doesn't have access to. So Kyber AI shows you which coins are being gobbled up by whales and which aren't. And that leads into another feature, which I think is maybe the co one of the coolest ones, a new feature for Kyber AI, is the net outflow and inflow from centralized exchanges. Mm. So you know there's all those people we follow on Twitter. It's like Whale Insights or Whale Tracker. You know, 10,000 Bitcoin have been transferred from unknown wallet to Coinbase. And everyone's like, dump incoming, sell everything. But if you don't necessarily follow these people or if you're not always on Twitter, you might miss that. But with Kyber AI, it shows you which tokens are being sent to centralized exchanges, which in general can be seen as bearish. Because if you're sending to a centralized exchange, maybe you're going to dump. Mm. Or if a lot of tokens are being taken off centralized exchanges into cold wallets or hot wallets, maybe they're holding them long term. So that can be seen as bullish. So a lot of these things, they're, they're available all, all over the internet. But Kyber AI has put them all in one place and makes yeah. it super easy. And then as you said, when you combine it with setting limit orders and, and sells, like that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I, you know what I really like is that the centralized uh, exchange inflow and outflow because you're right. Nobody really wants to store their token assets on a centralized exchange due to asset freezes. You know, SEC was trying to come after Binance, freeze all assets. Get fucked. Yeah, like absolute <laughs> bullshit. But like, oh yeah, we're trying to try to protect investors, but now look, you guys can't take your assets off. So, a lot what of people, a lot of people now know that. So I believe there was a 400 or 700 percent increase in decentralized exchange volume when that happened. So it does say a lot because you know people are probably connecting their MetaMask to the decentralized exchanges in order to still make their swaps, but then keep it keep it offline or in their MetaMask. You know something that's more self custody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's so many different things that you know as we see. We've we've been talking about the rise of decentralized exchanges for a while because of you know first the fall of FTX. Now all the SEC FUD, you know, Binance is leaving Canada where we live. Binance US might be leaving the US. A bunch of other exchanges have left the US and Canada. So there's a lot more onus on decentralized exchanges and people need to learn how to use them. And it's great that, you know, Kyber AI has now integrated all these really cool tools with the top DEX aggregator in the world already. So another couple of tools that I found uh, useful when I was kind of going through it over the past few weeks since it's, it's only an alpha stage right now, right? Yeah, I know. It's still like, yeah. It's still early days. So they're going to be adding new features and making improvements, but we were lucky enough to get access to the alpha feature. Um, and if you want to check it out, we'll leave a link to the alpha, um, the alpha version of Kyber AI in the description of this video. Um, but a couple of other tools that I found interesting, again, these are things that you can find if you say, go find a token, type the address, copy the address, and go to Etherscan or BSC scan. And yeah. that's number of holders and like percentage of top holders. Yeah. You can find that on Etherscan, but it's kind of annoying and it's, you know, it's another tab that you have to yeah. open. But they have all that information, number of holders and percentage of coins held by top holders on Kyber AI. 
So it's just kind of taking all these pieces of information. Instead of having 20 tabs 20 open, t- yeah. right? You can just have the one tab open. Kyber AI, it has everything. Instead of being like, okay, I have coin market cap, coin gecko, ether scan, BSC scan, whale tracker, blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, I don't know what's going on. Kyber AI has everything in one place. I like that. And because it is in alpha stage, it's still early. I think, you know, the fact that we can utilize it now, especially as it progresses, it gets better. Mm. I think we start to gain a competitive advantage over other people who aren't using it yet because then there's going to be a flood of people who eventually realize that, look, KyberSwap is freaking a great DEX aggregator, great DEX to use. They have these amazing tools that we could be using. The fact that we're using it now and playing around with it means that we're going to be that much better when the bull market returns yep. and everybody starts to pile in, they're going to get left in the dust. So I think like it's a good I- idea to start pl- experimenting and playing around with it now. Yeah, for sure. So here's an example of how someone could use Kyber AI to their advantage, even in the alpha stage as it is right now. So, you know, right now we're kind of in a bit of another turmoil period. You know, Bitcoin, you know, it's around 25, 24, 26. It could maybe drop down to 22K, maybe, who knows, lower. If you had to go through Kyber AI, you find a coin that you like, you do your research, you see it has a very high Kyber score. You see the whales are accumulating it. You see that the number of holders are increasing every day. And then you go to the chart and it automatically gives you the support zone. Mm. Well, then you combine it with your Kyber swap and say, okay, if it hits that support zone, I want to buy $500 worth. Set a limit order. Set a limit order at that moment because you've identified it's a good coin that whales are accumulating with the top number of holders, but we're in a bit of a FUD period. So you, you use Kyber AI. Now you go to Kyber swap, set your limit order at the support zone and just forget about it. Mm. Then as you said, one day you're sleeping, it's 4 a.m. because something crazy happens in China and boom, you, it goes to the support. You buy your $500 worth of X coin and it goes up because it bounced at support. That's how you use Kyber AI. And I think that's a really cool op- opportunity for new traders. Yeah, absolutely. And another, another way to use it too is just the fact that you can, you can start to see the trends that are occurring. Um, you know, we're really good at spotting trends before they occur, like we did with um, artificial intelligence tokens yep. before they all rip, you know, 20X. Um, but there's always a few lagging ones that people are not aware of. So, you know, if, if, when that whole metaverse thing with render was occurring and then, you know, we could see wild was starting to rep a bit and a few, few of the other ones. If you can find one or two really good projects in a certain sector, then you can go and look for, all right, let's go try to find some other metaverse tokens or real world asset tokens or DeFi tokens, because clearly there's a trend that's occurring. Yeah. So you can utilize it for that as well. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. There's so many cool things you can do. So yeah, we highly encourage it's in the alpha stage, Kyber AI. It's a brand new technology. Check the link in the description, you know, rewatch this video to, to write down some tips on how to use it. And yeah, we'll probably be giving you updates on Kyber AI and Kyber Swap as they kind of move this from alpha to beta to full public launch, because I think the opportunity to use all these tools with the combination of machine learning, it just, it's, it makes you a better trader. And as Josh said, like you're able to spot trends and, and take advantage of things that you might not necessarily have been able to do before. Hey, it's a crazy crypto world out there, man. You never know what the heck is going to happen. There's a lot to digest. Why not utilize some artificial intelligence to make more informed decisions? Yeah, exactly. Hey, if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And then tune to the next episode. That one is going to be a banger. All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only.